Hi guys, welcome back to Candidly V. I'm your girl Vanessa, or Candidly V, as some may know me as here on YouTube. And today I've had a lot of questions um, on YouTube, I mean not on YouTube, sorry, but on my Instagram and in my messenger about what I eat on my keto diet. And I've posted um, pictures of food that I've actually made and prepped before when I first started keto. And people have been really interested about the recipes and um, how I actually cook everything. So I decided that I would make a video or a couple videos, but right now I'm just going to do one for today. Um, make a couple videos with me make meal prepping for the week with my keto diet. So today I'm just going to do two recipes um, for... First thing I'm going to make is my breakfast hot pocket. And usually this stuff that I make is probably going to last about three days max. Um, at the moment, my appetite has suppressed a lot. So two meals is more than enough for me to, a day. And sometimes I snack, um, but that's basically on berries. And sometimes I don't. Um, if I'm full, I just don't even force it or anything like that. And it will consist of bulletproof coffee. And I'll put um, what ingredients make um, bulletproof coffee or I'll actually do a separate video another day on how I make my bulletproof coffee but it's really really simple and easy um, but I'll list the ingredients here on the screen for you. Um, my breakfast will consist of a bulletproof coffee with a um, keto hot pocket. Sometimes it doesn't consist of that. Sometimes I might just have um, some turkey bacon um, and coffee or um, sometimes I have my salmon patties and spinach in the morning. It just depends on what I'm really feeling for. And tomorrow I'm going to make the hot pockets. So hot pockets is one meal and then my lunch stroke dinner because I usually have like a late lunch. I'll eat it late at work, um, which will sacrifice over to dinner time as well. I'm gonna make some chicken, a little bit of a Caribbean keto recipe. I'm gonna do like some stewed chicken and it's gonna be accompanied by vegetables. Or I may even do my cauliflower um, fried rice recipe. There is no rice, it's fried cauliflower pretty much. Um, but I'm still gonna wing it as I go and when I start cooking that. So I hope you guys enjoy this video and don't forget to leave comments, questions, and definitely don't forget to subscribe because there's a lot more keto tips and tricks and recipes and other things like that coming your way. So keep watching, bye guys. Okay guys, so this is a really simple menu. You don't need a lot of things for this um, recipe at all. So you're going to use one cup of almond flour, which is right here, one cup of mozzarella. You also need some extra mozzarella to go inside, if that's your cho cheese of choice. You'll need one large egg, two ounces of cream cheese, I like Philadelphia personally, um, one quarter tablespoon of baking powder. And that is pretty much it. And then, oh yeah, and then I also have some turkey bacon which I'm gonna put inside the actual um, hot pocket itself. So it's really, really simple. What you're gonna do is we're going to first take the one cup of, um, actually no, first I'm gonna take the one cup of, I'll put my big bowl here, one cup of almond flour into the big, into the big um, bowl, mixing bowl. <gasps> Did I not just drop my whole spoon of baking powder? One, one quarter table, teaspoon, no, tablespoon of baking powder. So I've got to get another one. And then I'm also going to mix that in. So you put all your dry ingredients in first and then you just give that a quick mix together like this. Okay, then after you've mixed everything together, what the next step is that we're gonna take the mozzarella cheese, the one cup of mozzarella cheese and two ounces of Philadelphia. Now I basically just try and um, guess the measurement for this and then we're gonna put it in the microwave to melt. So, and I basically do it as two spoons, pretty much. I'm not too sure what two ounces is, but you know, to be honest, two tablespoons of cream cheese works perfectly fine on this recipe. Woo. Um, I'll just put a little bit extra. 
last job because I think that was a little bit less how much I usually put in. And then I just put it in the microwave to melt for a little bit. I'd say I put about 30 seconds in the microwave and then I take it out, test it, mix it again, and then if that isn't all, if the mozzarella cheese hasn't fully melted, then I will do that again. Then after once that comes out, I'm just gonna mix it and make sure it's sort of a good consistency. Ignore the mess already, can't believe it. Then after that, you're gonna into, you're gonna put all your wet ingredients into the bowl and mix it. And that is our dough for a hot pocket. Really, really simple. I'm sorry if I sound awful today, but I think I'm coming down with something. So, so as you can see here, I am just, oh, move that out of the way. I'm just mixing the cheese, but it's not at the consistency that I need it. The mozzarella hasn't fully uh, melted. So I'm gonna pop this back in the microwave for another 30 seconds. Oh Lord, all this stuff's getting stuck together. But that is what happens when you're working with mozzarella. Mozzarella is a hard cheese to melt, to be honest. So I'm just gonna take that off real quick and uh, pop, pop that back in the microwave for another 30 seconds. Yes, this is much better. So now we've got our nice, beautiful cheese consistency. And as you can see, it's all melted lovely in here. So this is how it should look. And you see that it's just melted beautifully. Perfect, it's probably actually the best I've ever had it. I take my egg, crack it, put it in with my dry ingredients. And then personally, I mix that in first before and just kind of break it up a little bit before I add the cheese, which is going to come in zero point. And now the cheese is already getting cold a little bit, but that's okay. You want to take this out and it's very hot. So please, please, please everyone be very careful when dealing with a hot, um, my fingers are kind of used to this. So, put the mozzarella cheese in. It's so simple, honestly. This is the longest time is the baking and the rolling out. To be fair, because you have to roll this out as well. Uh, but yeah, and then I'm just gonna take my dough and I'm just gonna mix this all together. And that, and then I'll knead it a little bit of my hand. But this um, flour is. So so soft, it's kind of hard to get it to knead together, if you see what I'm saying. So I try and mix it with the spoon as best as I can, because as soon as you put your hands in this, um, it doesn't at all mix well. You see, like, you can see it already, the cheese and there's like dough, but once you, thing is, it doesn't have to be completely mixed all the way through. I've done it where I haven't mixed it all the way in with each other, because once you roll it out into the dough, it kind of does its own thing. And this here will make about um, roughly, so I'm just gonna take this cheese off here because I want this to be all in there as well. This will make probably about three to four hot pockets. Okay. So, and then once again, just gonna knead it in. You'll see me pick it up with my hands in a minute when I'm taking it out of the bowl. Um, but this is pretty much what your keto dough looks like. So it's cheese and the flour all combined in one. It's really soft it's not that easy to manipulate okay I mean it is easy to manipulate but it's crazy soft so and you don't want to over mix anything so once you get it in this kind of consistency like that you're good to go then I just get some um, 
I'll just kind of move everything out of the way. I'm going to get some turkey bacon on the, on the stove started and then I am going to just uh, lightly fry it just a little bit just to get it cooked through and then I am going to get some wax paper so these are the next two things that you'll need so you'll need some wax paper and either you can use olive oil oh you can't see that yeah you can olive oil or avocado oil um, spray works perfectly fine too but I'm just gonna tidy up a little bit and then I'll be back okay guys so my bacon is now um, frying lightly frying and I am about to spray my wax paper because this is gonna help you actually um, and then I take another one around the same size because your dough like I said before it's very it's not that easy, so I just kind of smush these both together, get them both well oiled with the spray on it, like that. Separate them so you have both greased. And then I'm gonna take up the dough. Uh, yeah, this is when I take up the dough out of the um, bowl. And like I said, it's not easy to move at all. And then I'm just going to put it in the middle, like so. And then take the other paper and lift it on the top like this. Okay. And then I am going to roll this out. You can roll it out, you can press it out, it's up to you. But I just feel like rolling is easier till we make it into a flat. So I'm gonna be right back. Okay, so here I'm just getting the turkey bacon that I just fried and I am breaking up with my fingers. Um, it doesn't need to be neat for this point. And I'm just filling it, putting it on top of the mozzarella cheese that I put inside. So I have this is a mozzarella cheese filled and turkey bacon filled hot pocket. Okay, so now I've just broke up the bacon a little bit and then I've literally just um, broke it up and put it on top of the cheese. So the next step would be to, and this is the thing, you do it however you want to. I kind of like my Hot Pockets to kind of, everyone always says, they're patties. Because the way it's going to look when I finish it, I take one side of it and then I'm gonna fold it all the way over. Like, as you can see, it's already starting to break up and that's normal because like I said already, this dough is not the easiest to work with. It's very soft. So I just take my finger and push it down and then I'll take a fork and really seal it afterwards. Okay. And then I'm going to do the same with this side. Now this side I've already can feel I rolled it out too thin. So I'm going to have a few issues. But it will still work. Okay, there we go. So I still got it. Now if I want to, I can also add a bit more... Um, And this is what I do sometimes, just to doctor it up. A, ooh, just to doctor it up a little bit, little bit, I will put some, um, like a few pieces where the holes are, just to make it completely sealed all the way round. And I'm gonna do the exact same thing. I'm gonna roll it and do the exact same thing again, 
um, with the rest of the dough so that I can make another, a third one. Because you want to get as much as you can out of the dough. Sometimes I even respray the base again because obviously these ones have used up a lot of the oil that was on the base that was on there already. So I'm going to respray it. Then I'm going to do the exact same steps that you just see me do um, before I pop it in the oven. The oven right now is already being preheated at 375 degrees. So once the oven bings, it will be ready for my hot pockets to go in. Okay, so I will bring it back and show you the end result of the hot pockets. Okay guys, so this is what they're gonna look like just before they go into the oven. A little bit rough looking right now, but they're gonna look much better when they come out. And I'm just gonna put, pop them in the oven for about 15 minutes until they are golden brown. And then when I take them out, I will show you again the end result of the keto hot pockets. And it's, as you can see, it's so easy for you to make. You can make it real, real quick. Okay guys, so I'm back and the Hot Pockets are done. As you can see, they're nice and brown. Um, they're a little bit brown than I usually make them just because I didn't hear when the oven actually went off, the timer. Um, and I had to put them back in for a little bit because they weren't quite done when I originally um, went to check on them after the 15 minutes. So I had to put them in for another, I put them in for an extra six minutes, but then I didn't actually hear when the oven beeped and went that they were done. So they're a little bit browner than what I normally like. However, they're still gonna taste amazing. So now all I do is put them to the side, let them cool, and then um, once they're cool, it's easy to take off the wax paper with them. So I hope you guys enjoyed it, but this is how you make Hot Pockets. I don't think I'm actually gonna video the other next um, meal today, just because I'm a little bit tired now, <laughs> even though this didn't take that long. I feel like I can just do that in another video separate for you guys. And I don't want to make this one too long. But here's how you make keto hot pockets. Thanks guys. Tune, can't wait to tune in on the next one. Love ya. Bye.